Hi guys and welcome back to another update. In this video today I'm going to prepare the wheel arches that DB Mini kindly gifted me for the Mini 30. I've also had an accident. I cut myself shaving a piece of metal with a grinder. Today's job is to um, rub these plastic wheel arches down so that they're smooth. Um, at the moment they've got a little bit of, a little bit of texture to them. So I'm going to paint them um, body colour black, but first of all I'm going to smooth them down and um, fill in any imperfections from when they were made and um, get them painted. I've got some assorted emery paper here and I'm going to start off with 240 then drop down to 600 and then finish it off with um, some 1200 and um, the 240 that will take the texture off the arch and the 600 will start taking the scratches from the 240 out and the 1200 will take the scratches from the 600 out well that's the plan anyway so let's see how um, that gets on That was a bit of a ball ache, getting these all rubbed down, but that's them all rubbed down now. However, I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but there is some slight imperfections, um, mostly with um, the front arches for some reason. As you can see there, um, it's like a little indent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to panel wipe them and then pop some knifing putty in that um, in the indents there there's another one there as well and um, let that harden off and then flatten it back so I'll crack on with that, get that filled in and then um, hopefully we'll be ready for priming that's them um, filled in with some knifing putty I'll go and have a brew and uh, let that putty go off and then we'll start um, giving it a little uh, light rub and hopefully into paint right that's them all done now and uh, you can see there where the imperfections were so what I'll do now is I'll get a coat of paint on that and no doubt it'll highlight further imperfections. I know these aren't ideal for panel white but at the end of the day it's just a tidy up the car's getting. So I'm not really bothered if it's uh, not show standard because one thing's for sure and he's never going to win prizes. Right. 
I'll do the same with the rest of them and then we'll get these painted. Right, that same had time to um, to dry. These are the arches that uh, got some filling done to them with the the putty. But yeah, as you can see there, that looks not too bad. So what I'll do now is I'll get the black paint can shaken up, and we'll get some black paint on. Right, that's turned out not too bad. Um, I'll jump out of here, get rid of the fumes, and um, once I come back, hopefully that should be matte black, and we'll give it another coat. That's all the arches um, had their first coat of paint, and it has dried in matte, or nearly matte. Um, but yeah, it looks good. One, this other one, and the other two, they're at the other side of the garage. This isn't the best place to paint them because it is quite dusty in here. But at the end of the day, I'm not a paint shop, I'm a DIYer who likes to um, tinker away in the garage. Anyway. I'll give um, the arches another coat of black paint and uh, let them flash off and then hopefully get them lacquered before the end of the day. Right, um, the uh, arches have had time to flash off so what I'll do now is I'll give it its first coat of um, lacquer. I've already done the backs uh, or the arches at the back of the garage so I'll quickly do these ones now. Right, I think that looks not too bad. That's quite a good shine for the first coat. I'll quickly do the other one and then we'll give it time to harden and then we'll give it one more final coat on all of them. That's the arches now had two coats of lacquer on them. Quite impressed with how um, they've turned out. Um, £25 for the kit, so yeah. Um, very little black paint left. I'll just have enough paint to um, obviously touch the rivets up because it's silver rivets that I've got and um, I'll just put a spotty black paint on them once they're, once they're riveted on. So, next job is to get these fitted to the car. It's going to be a couple of days for me but blink an eye for you guys. Right, moving outside, I've already done the rear arches and um, they were an absolute swine to do so now I'm going to tackle the front what else I've done off camera is um, I've painted that rear quarter just um, this area down here because it was um, the paint was horrible on it uh, they runs weren't me by the way um, so yeah that's uh, the rear arch is fitted they look not too bad, absolute bugger to fit. I've just put them in with some tech screws for the simple reason being is they're only temporary. They've all be coming back off when the car gets a rebuild. So now we'll get the fronts on. Hopefully they're not as bad as the rears. What else I had to do with the rear um, arches was I had to cut them. I'll take you in and show you. This is the old arch. And these little noggins here um, at the back, they were a lot tighter on the new arch. So I just took a pair of cutters to it and uh, cut cut bits off roughly to match what um, what they've been trimmed down to. And once I've done that, they, they fitted a lot better. 
Um, not great arches. They're obviously reproduction ones that I've put on. They're reproductions as well because they weren't a great fit. But, like I say, they'll do. And um, we'll just make the fronts fit. Right, let's get these drilled off and um, see how it's looking. Oops, uh, they've not snapped the rivet off properly on that one or that one. That one they have. That one they haven't. trying to push the mandrel through so that I can get the drill in to drill out the rivet. This went offline. Just came out though. Right, there we go. Just checking that they fitted the little, the little piece in here um, to join the A panel to the front wing, and uh, fortunately they have. Right, I'll get that cleaned up. And we'll see how the, we'll see how the other arch fits. Right, I've given that a polish and a clean, well a clean and then a polish. So now I'm going to offer up the the arch, and hopefully it'll um, line up okay. I've noticed with the old arch, if I get it here, it's got a bit of gouging out it. Um, that's been done by the front wheel by the looks of it. So, um, yeah, and there's mad holes up there. I don't know what they're about. But anyway, let's see if this um, fits okay. Hopefully the holes will line up. Um, they didn't on the backs. And they're, they're all lining up. Happy days. Right. I'll go and get some screws. Screw that in. I'm just lifting that piping over the head of the screw. This piping, by the way, um, came from Huddersfield Spares and it's absolutely fantastic. It's a quarter of the price than what other many suppliers are asking and the fit is just absolutely brilliant so I would thoroughly recommend um, this piping if you're planning on doing the same I'll leave a link in the description where to get it so well done to Huddersfield for, um, for that piping the ferry shouldn't have that piping but I think it looks a lot better and it really finishes the, the arch off. Right, that's that. All I need to do now is give the, the arch a little bit of a polish and we can safely say that's that job done. Another job ticked off the list. Well, I think we can safely say that that's that job done and the car looks a damn sight better. I'll touch these screws in with um, some black paint. Um, I'll do that off camera. I need to get some more black paint, and um, I'll also get the other side done. So, guys, if you've made it this far, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. Please remember to hit that like button if you've liked the video, and if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. Catch you later, guys. Bye for now.